The Nimbus Cloud is an iconic concept in the Dragon Ball series. And considering a lot of Dragon Ball fans have not seen the original show, I think a video where we briefly discuss it is in order. The Flying Nimbus, or Kinto Un, literally Somersault Cloud, is a magic yellow cloud that acts as Kid Goku's main method of transportation in Dragon Ball. He was given this as a reward from Master Roshi for saving Turtle and bringing him back to his island. This cloud was based on Goku's journey to the West counterpart, Sun Wukong, who also rode a cloud to get around. His cloud is called Somersault Cloud, which in Japanese is called Kinto Un. So basically, they're called the exact same thing in both languages. The Nimbus Cloud can travel vast distances at quite the pace, as seen by Goku's numerous uses of it. To use the Nimbus, Goku yells, Fly Nimbus, and the cloud comes to his aid. One requirement of using the Nimbus Cloud is that you have to have a pure heart to ride it. If you don't, when you first step onto the cloud, you'll fall right through it. The cloud also allows inanimate objects to be carried on it. It's important to note that the pure heart requirement can be overruled. If the person with said pure heart were to carry the person that's unworthy of riding it. The Nimbus cloud was completely destroyed after Colonel Silver fires a SAM or surface to air missile at the cloud. Later on, an old man from the Jingle Village tells Goku that the Nimbus cloud cannot be destroyed and to try and call for it. To Goku's surprise, the cloud arrives and the adventure continues. As the events of Dragon Ball unfold, the flight technique and instant transmission does eventually overshadow using the flying Nimbus, with the brief exception of early Dragon Ball Z, where Goku uses it to conserve his energy in preparation for a battle. Gohan later uses it during his teenage years to travel to his school in the city to make it look less weird than flying there. But riding a cloud is also weird, so I don't know what Gohan was thinking there. Before Goten was taught how to fly, he was using the Fly Nimbus to get around. It also does make a brief appearance in Dragon Ball Super, where Goku was in the Forest of Terror. In there, he cannot use his key abilities, so flight is out of the question. So he summoned the Fly Nimbus, and it was a nice little nod back to the original series. There was also the Dark Nimbus Cloud. This was given to Mercenary Tao by Korin, as Tao would not be able to use the regular Fly Nimbus because of his impure nature. Also, Korin has the ability to change the cloud from a solid to non-solid form, as seen when he made Tao fall. And that's all to know about the Nimbus Cloud. I hope you enjoyed the video, and until next time.